Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator 2018 where we're going to be going over some of the features of the Lotus Pack. Now we last worked on the Elise S1 over here and we're going to go ahead and work on the Esprit now because we haven't done anything to it whatsoever. We need to get it up in the air, we need to examine it and we need to see what all's up with the car. So let's go ahead and get this baby up in the air. And we know right off the bat that it needs needs new wheels because those look kind of gone. Let's check out the rear of this car because the rear of this car, ooh, looks a little bit, little bit messy. All right, so let's go ahead and take the wheel and tire off. All right, so everything back here looks like it may need to be repaired or rebuilt. We'll take off pretty much everything we can and rebuild everything that we can, but there's going to be a few things that we know from the front of the Elise um, that will have to be... Uh, that Basically, a few things that will have to be uh, replaced as new parts and cannot be rebuilt. Let's take this rear hub off. Everything's definitely right out in the open and easy to get to, that's for sure. Got to get this upper control arm off. Really simple double wishbone suspension setup. Get the coilover shock out. Need to get... Let's see... Need to get the lower control arm out too, which you have to mess with those bushings to get it out. And then the rear knuckle. Now from here, we can get straight to the engine. But before we get straight to the engine, let's... Do... Let's interrupt our little... Uh, Let's interrupt our disassembly for an oil change. Because we need to do an oil change on... Actually, we need to do an oil change on the Elise as well. But let's bring... Where is my... Oh, we've got an engine crane and a transmission jack. Uh, the transmission jack is not functional. Interesting. Where's my oil drain? There it is. Yeah, you... Oh, God. Uh, car lift C... Oh, perfect. It's exactly where we need it. Okay, beautiful. So, there we go. And, let's see here. No, I don't want to take the oil pan off. That is not, not up for, uh, not up for debate at all. Why won't it just let me take the drain plug off? Notes, examine, examine tools. Yeah, uh, why will you not? I just, I just need to do an oil change. I just need to do an oil change. That's all I need to do, bro. That, that's all I need to do. Here, use equipment. But that still doesn't let me just go straight to the... Hmm... Oh, why must you be like this? Why must you be like that? What? This is mildly bothersome now. Oil filter accessible from down here. Maybe I have to get that off first. Focus, examine, mount. Inventory parts notes. No. What's weird is it's like completely against, completely against me actually taking the oil drain uh, out. So what? Makes absolutely no sense to me. All right. Um. Yeah, it wants me to take the oil pan off. But why though? This is a huge why to me. Why is it so against me taking the drain plug out? I'm trying to get... Even if I look at it from this angle, it won't let me just grab the, the drain plug and just, like, take it out. Well, I guess we're taking the oil pan off because it wouldn't let me take the drain plug out, so... And it didn't really... Nothing really drained, but let's see. Let's see if we can now put it... But why would it not... Hmm. That's so weird. It's so weird why it wouldn't let me do that. 
Let's see, engine block, accessible from engine bay. Unmount. Mount mode. We can put another oil filter on, but like the... Hmm. I wonder if it's because the oil drain is here. Uh, put it back? <laughs> put it back? Maybe it's because it's directly underneath? And let's... No, I don't need any of that. Uh, then now... Part mounting mode. It doesn't say we have an oil pan. That's really odd. And I, I feel like I'm either missing something really, really, really bad. Or, or I'm just, or, or there is actually something weird going on. But let's go to the tablet and get ourselves another oil filter. Because that's just, that's just weird. Alright, where's our oil filter? Uh, let's see. Easier to go to engine. And then oil filter. Filter 14, I believe, because it's the blue one. Go ahead and pick that up. And then... I think we should... Let's see. Oil pan 13. Which oil pan did we have? Because I do not... I don't even... I don't even remember which oil pan we had. Inventory. Engine. Oil pan 14. So we go back here and we'll pick up an, an oil pan. 14E? Oh my god, is it a 14E or just a 14? No, not the store. Oh my god, my inventory, please. 14E. I didn't pay attention to the little to the little letter. And I was like, I think it's a 14E, but I'm not sure. And I don't want to screw it up, so... Alright. Heart mount mode. Brand new oil filter. Engine block accessible from engine bay. It doesn't even acknowledge the fact that a that an oil pan should return to that to the location under the engine. So I don't know what is up with it, but I guess we'll just keep on rebuilding uh, the rear end here. We'll keep taking it apart. Let's see. Front exhaust section, rear exhaust section, gearbox. Now, we do need to get the other wheel and tire off at the very least. Let's go ahead and get that off. And see if we can find any uh, lots of trouble usually serious inside this Esprit. Get the pads off, get the rotor off, and then we'll get this axle out, this CV axle. And let me see if... It, it doesn't make sense, though, that it wouldn't let me put the oil pan back on, nor would it let me um, take the drain plug off. So let's take that coilover out. Upper control arm and lower control arm now just to go. Then we can get the knuckle out, and then we should be pretty much good for both sides. I mean, technically, at this point, if we wanted to take the gearbox out, we could. Which... I mean, oh, we got to take the starter out, but that's, we got to do all that from up top. Yeah, we got to do all that from up top, but let's real quick go into assembly mode. And yeah, no, that the, the oil pan doesn't even show up. Doesn't even show up at all. So I wonder if you would have to mess with it from a different angle. This is going to be, a, unlike the Elise, this is going to be a full, full teardown. Trunk window off, engine cover off, now we can really get to it, so let's see. Starter, oh, oh the oil filter needs to come off, so that's going to mean, hmm, well, technically we haven't filled it yet, so I guess that technically makes it okay, um, but yeah, we're going to fully tear this thing down, so we may as well. Oh, it, it's like, oh, you, you have to do it from under the car now that you just lowered it down. I'm like, boy! Well, while we're in here, we may as well take off as much as we can because this is gonna be a this is gonna be a full-on teardown, unlike the Elise. 36%. I wonder if there's a little bit more than meets the eye here inside this engine. Alright. Filter cover off. Air filters. 
Now, granted, this is going to take a little bit more time to put back together than the Elise, but, but, it could be worth it. Get everything apart. Everything. Get the carbs off. And then now, that, that intake manifold's tiny. Or at least it feels tiny compared to some other cars. Alright, so... I need to get the belt off. Oh, before we can do that, though, we need to get... Uh, what's next? Serpentine belt A, so it's... Yeah, two different belts. And then we'll get the alternator out. Crank pulley. You know, you, you know stuff's getting real when you're taking crank pulleys out. Water pump pulley. We're gonna have this thing torn down to the block pretty soon. Water pump. Water pump is 40%. So it's not actually the water pump wasn't in as wasn't in as bad of shape as I thought it was. Gear out. Oh, that's the crank we're gonna have to we're gonna have to mess with from under the car. And the other cam gear. Now we'll get this valve cover off. It's so nice working on, like, personal projects in this game, as opposed to, like, just the standard calls that come in. Because you actually kind of feel like you're working on a project car, which feels really, really cool. I'll get that out. Oh, yes. Now we're getting to the interesting parts. Let's get it up. 36%. That's... Not brilliant condition, actually. Alright, so we're going to have to take the header off. Header off, and then what else do we need to do to be able to take... Oh, yeah. Um, the, uh, the ignition wires, that would be a good place to start. And the plugs. First plug out, second plug out, third, and boom, fourth. So, now the head itself can come out. So we'll take... Unbolt the head, and then it can come out. See what the true condition is of that. So, 46%, not terrible. Now, let's see. Distributor, distributor cap. Needs to be... Oh, this little clip. It's always little things like that. Is there another little clip underneath? Oh, I bet you. I... Yep, I bet you there is. I see it. I got it. <laughs> They, they really do make you, like, think about what you're doing, which is really cool. Rotor out. Distributor itself is gone now. So let's see. Is there anything else? Oh, we got the fuel filter out. Then the crankshaft. Everything else we need to go at from under the car. Oh, come on. I don't know why I just pressed the E key to use the lift. That's weird. Alright, so we're close now. We're really close. Take that oil filter technically back off, and then we have to go back down into the engine bay to get to the starter, which is silly. Really, really silly. But let's get the main bearings out. Come on, where are you at? There we go. Get it out, get it out. Up next, we got one more to do. Now, from here, we should... Wait, oh, okay. Which... Piston with connecting rod accessible from engine bay. So, we need to we need to bring the car back down regardless. There's going to be a lot of up and down here. A lot of up and down for sure. Alright, let's see. Piston with connecting rod. Why do I feel like we should have done that? Yeah, why do I feel like we should have done that on the ground instead? But regardless, we'll take the starter out. And then from here, the gearbox, the entire gearbox can come out. By the time I'm done, I want to have everything out of this car. Like, I want to have... I want there to literally be nothing back here. Gearbox is coming out now. Take all the bolts out of the bell housing. Boom. Take every piece of the clutch off. Doing the pressure plate. Already took the throw bearing out. Clutch plate itself. 54%. That's not terrible, actually. That's that's better than I would have expected. Let's see. Why are those... Hmm.
Piston with con rod accessible from engine bay. Rod cap. But they can't be removed from down here, I guess. So that's... They're specific on that. Like, they are specific on that not being removed from down here. Okay, then. Well, I guess we're going to go... While we're here, though... I was going to say, while we're here, we could probably take the fuel pump and the fuel tank out. That's the next stage of that teardown done. And we'll bring the car down. And this should be one of the one of the last times we have to bring it down before we can lift the engine out of here. Okay, what's stopping it then? I get that... The, I get that that's there and that's stopping it, but... I know you can't come out, but what is what is holding it back? Let me get underneath here. I thought so. The rod caps. But but it's as accessible from under the car on a lift. And if I put it up on the lift. Oh, wait. Yeah, it says if I put it up on the lift, it doesn't actually do anything about it. So, that's just... That's just weird, because... Where? It's so weird, because... I'm supposed to... I'm supposed to be able to take those off at this point. But they don't want to come off. It's telling me I can't take them off, but at the same time... Oh, no, I don't want assembly mode. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't want assembly mode. There's, n There should be nothing in the way. There should be absolutely nothing in the way. But I don't know what it is. Wait. No, 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 no. Not, a, not any of that. Don't need any of that. No! Oh my god. Sometimes it's really tricky with this. Engine block. Accessible from engine bay. It's so strange, man. Like, I should be able to just pop those off. I should, I should genuinely be able to just pop these off because there's nothing else. There's nothing else to get in the way of them, but... We'll, I'm sure we'll be able to figure it out, but, I mean, we've got this thing torn down to, like, a, quite a quite a good level, but um, we, I wonder if it's, like, freaking out because we haven't taken the battery out yet. I would laugh if it was that, but regardless, we've gotten ev almost everything torn down out of the rear of this car, torn down to the block, basically, the bare block um, and the crank. we got to get those out, and then this thing will be completely torn, well, almost completely torn down and ready for a full rebuild. So if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comments down below what you guys thought of it, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time. Talk to y'all later.